Welcome to the quarterfinals of the League Cup 2009 from Jalan Besar Stadium, the home of Singapore football. And a very warm welcome to a very wet Jalan Besar Stadium. I'm PJ Robertson. It's quarterfinal number four. And what a match we have for you tonight. It's two-time S-League champions, Tampanese, taking on seven-time S-League champions, the Singapore Armed Forces. It certainly is a massive clash. Last night saw quarterfinal number three played. It was between Brunei DPMM and Galang United. It was an eight-goal thriller. Let's have a look back at the very best of the action. The teams are walking out here, and it's Gelang in their traditional green. Tries to get the shot away, it's blocked. Rene Komar there. This goes in the goal, surely it is, goal there. And it's Hafiz Martin, who just had a chance. Oh, that's great play. From Haji Shubi Abdullah, and that's a goal. The first time they've got the ball properly onto the head of Bergiga. Well, Gelang to keep that composure. That's a fantastic goal from the edge of the box. It's Rene Komar who's curled that in to the far post. Miroslav again. Good ball to Saita. He's got to square this. What is that a penalty? Yes it is, says the referee. And they make it their second goal. Plenty of movement from Wardun on the line. And it's an easy finish. By Hockey makes it 2 all. We come this with the kick. And that's a goal. Once again. It's Bergiga's header across the six-yard box, which creates all sorts of problems. Baba Ali, straight a goal. That's hit the post. And it's gone in. Unbelievably, they have scored right away here, Gelong United. They're trying to let that through. Oh, that's a yank down. And it's a penalty. It's going to be Ivan Jokovic up against Yazid Yasin here. And he makes no mistake. 4-3 to Brunei DPMM. Was that a foul? Yes, it is. Well, he makes no mistake either way. It's 5-3. to be to an absolutely absorbing encounter. Yes, it certainly was a very entertaining match. But focusing on tonight's match, joining me now is Syed Farouk, the team manager, assistant coach, a very important person behind the scenes for Tampanese Rovers. Now, Syed, you're coming up against SAF, the team with the best attack in the S League. They can score from all over the park. How are you going to stop them tonight? Uh, I suppose we're going to have to score more goals than them. <laughs> uh, no, seriously, um, yes, we have, uh, we have identified that. We've been working hard in training to, to try and minimise uh, their attack. And uh, I think, yeah, it should be a good game today. And we understand that, talking about the team news, Noral Amshah, he's on the bench tonight. What's the key reason for this? Well, he's had this uh, niggling knee injury for the past three months. Um, we've had to rest him for two days after a match for him to recover from that. Um, and today, this last few days, it has flared up again. So we didn't want to take the risk and, you know, it could be a long-term injury. So that's, that's the reason why we have uh, left him on the bench. Okay. So thank you very much. Best of luck tonight. Well, both of these teams, they do have an impressive history in the S-League and the Singapore Cup, but in the League Cup, it's been reasonably poor. Both teams were knocked out in the quarter-final stage last season. These two teams have got very much to prove tonight.
Yes, joining me now from Singapore Armed Forces is the General Manager, Colonel Kok Wai Leong. Now, Colonel, your form in the League Cup, it's been a little bit inconsistent. You were defeated 3-0 by Brunei. How's the confidence and the feeling amongst the lads? Well, that match is over the, under the water, under the bridge already. I think we've overcome that. I'm very pleased with the way we came back in the last game against Albrex. I think we just getting our form back and I'm very pleased. We are now in the quarterfinal, so that 3 new defeat is history already. Uh, looking ahead, I think uh, tonight against Tampines will be a cracker game. I think it will be another blockbuster. Um, because both teams are very attack-minded. And I'm looking forward to it because uh, Tampines play a very open game. They have a strong defense, yes, I can see that. Uh, but we also are scoring goals. So I hope it will be a very good, uh, exciting game, you know, for the fans especially. Colonel, thank you very much. Best of luck tonight. <laughs> well, it is the best attack in the S-League SAF against the best defence in the S-League Tampanese. It's a very important game coming up. Now, there is a competition running tonight. It is the Star Hub SMS competition. All you've got to do is pick the winner of the League Cup 2009. You've just got to predict it. There'll be a little bit more information on that coming through during the match. We'll kick off. It is just around the corner. This is a massive quarterfinal clash. We are very much looking forward to it. When we come back after the break, we're going to have a look at the team lineups and the team formation. We'll see you then. Welcome back to Jalan Basar Stadium for the League Cup 2009. It is the final quarter-final for this season. Singapore Armed Forces against Tampanese Rovers. Neither side has made it through to the semi-finals of this competition. This is going to be a monster of a clash. It's now time to join our match commentator, Shazad Hark, who will talk us through the team lineups and the team formations. Thanks a lot, PJ. Yes, we've had some really good quarterfinals. All the matches so far, extremely entertaining. They've got better and better as the tournament progresses. And I tell you what, it's going to take something special to top last night's eight-goal thriller. But you know what? These two teams have a great history. Tampanese Rovers and Singapore Armed Forces. The teams are walking out here. And just to tell you, the Tampanese in all yellow and Singapore Armed Forces in all white. But they have had eventful and fierce meetings in the past. So we could be in store for an absolute cracker tonight. And I tell you what, there have been some interesting selection issues. And we'll look at them right now. They've uh, suffered a su surprise defeat to Young Lions in their last match. And uh, they did rest a number of regulars for that game. But uh, they come into this match with nearly all of their senior players available for selection, including Fatih Yunus, who has completed a two-match ban carrying over from last year. He will start on the bench, though. And also to tell you that Singapore internationals Hassan Sani and Ridwan Muhammad come back in. There's a place for a Japanese attacking midfielder, Akihiro Nakamura, and Thai star Suti Suksomkit returns to the side. Out go Alamin Muhammad, Imran Sahib, Zulkan and Zainal, and most conspicuous by his absence is in the starting lineup is Noah Alam Shah, who's on the bench because of that knee injury. Looking at SAF, well, just two changes for them after they beat Alberex and Negata 2-0 in the last group game. There were fitness concerns over Razali Kalik after his exertions against DPMM and Albrex. He will take a break. And that clears the way for Hafiz Osman to come back in the side. Shaful Essa also comes back in. And, uh, well, the reason for that is, of course, to shore up that defence. Mustake Mansour and uh, Terzak Chaiman still in the treatment room. And by all accounts, they will not make it till the end of June. And uh, they're certainly going to be missing the playmaker talents of Terzak. Well, there are the two coaches. Uh, Varawan for... Tampanese. He certainly will be the key man to watch out for. Richard Bock there for SAF. They both have plenty to say. We'll talk about that throughout this uh, match. Benoit Croissant. Fantastic name that. At the back for Tampanese Rovers. So Zufadli. There was uh, speculation as to where he would play today. Of course, up against his old club. Up against uh, Tampanese. 